enjoy. Go. Hello, I am Simon, um, also known as the Fable Alpaca of the Steel City Snuffle Gators, uh, the Steelers team. Um, we've been uh, playing together uh, since really the start of Key Forum 2019. Um, all met at Patriot Games, uh, apart from Carl of CK, who's played in a few tournaments up at Patriot, and we've seen him at various store champs. Um, but yeah, that's a little rundown of the team. Okay. So the deck I'm playing is Coruscant K Near Wall Second. Um, it's a, I think it's a second or third deck that I got. Um, and when I first started playing the uh, the Mars, I thought it was quite quite fun. Um, having double Squawk and John Smith and um, Ulic Mega Mouth or double Ulic Mega Mouth means I can play a lot of a lot of Mars on one turn, readying and reaping, and then hit the other houses as well. Uh, Untamed has a full moon and key charge with quite a few good creatures like Fuzzy Groon and Drew Fairy, so it can be quite fast. And then Logos, it's got double effervescent principle. Double lab work, lab reacts actually first time, so again, that can cycle quite fast. Uh, low creature count, which I thought would be quite good in case Quixel Stone comes up, and the key sheet just in case I do face Heart of the Forest. Um, hopefully, I don't face any of those because, especially Heart of the Forest, it's an awful card. Um, I've played with my deck a few times just to reacquaint myself with it because I've not played it for a long time. Um, I've got newer decks, and this kind of just got pushed to the wayside. Uh, it, it, it plays well, but when you're going against higher rated, better decks, it's it's not fun. So it just gets uh, used at home or playing with friends. Uh, I've looked at the opponent's deck list, but I, I don't generally play um, practice games against them, uh, mainly due to time. But also, I, I like playing blind, because that's hard playing in a real-life tournament. So I just feel it's more more true to tournament life uh, doesn't always go in my favour but yeah, that's key forge oh no I'm far too nice to smack talk no, um, we had a, a chat when we turned the game up and he seemed like a, a really nice guy um, yeah, I, I don't do smack talk I'm, I'm too nice and, and he seems too nice as well so just good luck and um, hopefully I win but if not I'm sure it's going to be a, a good close game uh, right, we, we used to be the syndicate but um... We thought that the name wasn't very related to Keyfoot, so we decided to go with uh, with Crazy Killing Aubergine. And, uh, and we got all excited and created our own logos. Uh, so I think now the team is, um, in terms of marketing, we're, it's looking pretty good. Uh, and, uh, well, my name my name is, we can go by Diaz, my last name. I think it's easier. And then the other teammates is um, uh, Kidman uh, XDX is my cousin. And then Diogo CPG is um, is a friend of mine, and we just started playing Key Forge in August last year. Uh, my cousin joined a month after us, uh, and here we are. And here we are. We we participated in the quarter seven. Didn't do very well, <laughs> but but we're insisting. <laughs> Um, and we're very resilient. Let's see how this goes. You know, one day I woke up with uh, with three three names for the teams, and we just voted in this one. The other two were not as cool as these ones. <laughs> I did not have that many uh, options. I do have uh, a couple of others below sixty, uh, but I think this is the um, this is the one that I think grants me uh, with more diversity. Um, I've got a few board wipes. Um, I can uh, I can delay the keys. I've got I can capture. I cannot steal, but I can I can delay a lot. It's very disruptive uh, for a sixty sans deck, I think. And um, the uh, although it says that my strength is seventy seven, I think it's a pretty. It's got a pretty. Uh, strength a pretty good strength of board uh with the sanctum and the brobner so if i can uh, if i can get hold and in control of the board i think i'm i might be in a in a pretty good position with this deck 
we yeah 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 we're just just a couple of matches to be honest I, I was hoping to, to do a couple more before the the actual game uh but we did uh we we are starting well it, it started a few months ago but the portuguese community key Forge community is getting stronger and stronger and and we've done um, a couple of 60 sas cap tournaments before this one because we've got uh three or four teams i think it's four teams now joining cosi eight um, so we've all joined in and, and, and practiced with, with our 60 SAS decks, and uh, so it's, it's been pretty cool. To be, to be fair, we're, it's a mind game. <laughs> we, we spoke beforehand with, I spoke with Simon, and he's, he seems like a nice lad, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, he does not get more than two mass cards at the same time on his hands. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Because he's like, it, if he gets the right uh, mask cards or, or, or logos, then then I'm I'm screwed. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hi, Robic. Hello, everyone. So today we'll be doing deconstruction for the first round of Kota Eight. This time we'll be featuring two teams: Crazy Killing Aubergine on the left side. And on the right side, we'll be seeing decks from uh, SES Steelers Steel City Snuffle Gators. Uh, the first time, uh, the first team is from Portugal. The second team is from United Kingdom. And uh, these are our impressions about the decks they brought for the first round of Cota 8. Rubik, you are sitting on the side of uh, SCS Steelers, so maybe you could say something about uh, this beautiful 59 SAS deck. Yeah, so first of all, it's 60 SAS Cups deck, so uh, that's why we see so, such a low numbers. And uh, for this particular one, we see Library Access Reverse Time. Actually, with the nerfed Library Access, it's not as good as it used to be in the first days of uh Kitty Forge, but it still uh, can do some great combos. We have double lab work for the Everbescent Principles, uh, which are the main control, I would say, uh, Ember control of this deck. And we can also rely on Physic Network uh, and Felix, uh, the Disintegrator uh, in the Mars, but we need to take into the, into the account uh, the board control of the opponent, uh, which here is too high for the Psychic Network or the Martian creature. To probably work. Uh, not only that, we, we can see the key charge and some sort of uh, good amount of ember peeps and ember generation in untamed. So there is also a possibility of a high burst in untamed and a key cheat for the win. So our strategy, more often than not, would be to go with the library access, create some sort of a bigger than standard size hand, uh, and then follow with the good Martian turns with double squawker, double mega mouth, or even John Smith, right? Or just to go and verse with Untamed. Uh, unfortunately, as we can see, the board control on your side makes my Amars pretty sad. And even though I can burst with Untamed one key, I don't feel like I will be able to go much more further. Um, yeah, but about, besides those 18 creature control, what is on your side, Dominic? So on my side, I see a beautiful 60 SAS deck with uh, one of my favorite houses with this. Uh, so uh, let's focus on this. Uh, triple charrettes, that's what I like here. Um, double dominator bubbles to use some uh, off house creatures during this turn. Uh, also tendrils uh, of pain uh, that could actually uh, pretty much clean your board uh, when I play uh, after I, I, I forge my, my key. Um, uh, sorry, after my opponent forged, uh, for, forged the key. And uh, also uh, K2E to this, which is actually a very stable uh, board clear here uh, with some downsides, but uh, it's 60 SAS deck, so uh, I don't expect much. Um, what really, um, what really uh, catches my eye here is double covered sand with double loot the, the bodies. Uh, that's uh, a combo that we could pull out twice here. 
uh, covered scent with loot the bodies would give us uh, uh, the, the amount of uh, uh, amber exact to how many creatures we'll be destroying with covered scent. So uh, combine this with blood money and uh, you could get a pretty decent amber generation in Brogner. Um, uh, Oh, and you are just destroying your opponent's creatures, so that's really nice uh, here. Um, also, we have some Screech Bomb to stop our opponent from forging, uh, and some really nice uh, creatures in Brovner. But what really shines here is the Sanctum, and the uh, round table uh, turns all of our knights into creatures that could stop our opponent from destroying chariots, from destroying our toxin, uh, maybe even from destroying our Brobnar creatures uh, like Crump, uh, before we decide to destroy them. Uh, so I believe that the deck on the left side, deck from uh, Crazy King Aubergine, uh, would be way better in this matchup than uh, the one that you were featuring uh, before. What do you think about this? Yeah, the great thing about uh, your, uh, your side is that you have the strange rare of Clear Mind, which uh, basically, more often than not, is uh, not as a great of a card, but against my uh, uh, Phosphorus Stars is uh, one of the best. So one of my <laughs> creature control uh, is basically disabled. Uh, also, it's really tricky uh, from your side, too, because sometimes you have triple charades with a bunch of Ember, but, and you want to destroy the board with the coward's end and the gateway to this but that would uh, in the, uh, possibly give me the key so uh, it's a tricky matchup for sure but definitely you're the favorite because of the creature control I've mentioned and some sort of uh, great sanctum yeah the, definitely I would give it to crazy killing version not only for the name so maybe 80-20 I would go with 80% uh, for uh, Khan Rikic and 20% uh, for Cory Sander. What do you think? Yeah, around that. Let, 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 let's get this call. Okay. Fair. So let's watch the match. Right, everyone, let's Hello. get on with it. So, first of all, I remember 20 years ago. Uh, so, this is, uh, at the top we have uh, the Crazy Killing Machine Aubergine, at the bottom we have SCS Steelers. Um, let's get started. Look at that hand for the Crazy Killing Aubergine. Double oh. shred, no, you don't want to see it too early, but you've got the Coward's End ready to go. Tendril to Pain, Lash, and it's got to be a turn one Lash just to... Uh, yeah, just get out of the way, I mean... The mother gonna well, happen at what, the bottom. That's what Dindus was worried about, getting two miles early. If Zizix was going to stick around, it'd be brilliant to start archiving for this full moon. But this free face is going to make short work. And it's going to put Dindus quite in control because... Where do you go next? Do you go for a Logos turn to set up and get your Mars back? Or do you go for the guaranteed two Amber from the Lost in the Woods and the... Uh, you get Logos. I don't know, because I kind of want to put that... Uh, well, I want to get that full. I want to get that lost in the woods back. If you go on tamed here, you get the one amber from the full from the full moon, and then you drop the lost in the woods, and the, you know the lost in the woods is coming straight back to do more creature control. Mm. But it looks like this going with your approach. I mean, now it's much. Oh, it's key charge to come through is not what you Archives need right to reverse time. Very interesting. It hasn't got enough cards yet to justify the reverse time, so it kind of makes sense. Reap, reap. So it's four to one. Go on level skin. There's the reverse time. So wants to set up the lab book. Doesn't use the first lab book before reverse timing. Interesting. Maybe it's just Take trying to quick. So archive mega mouth. No, archives the key charge. That makes sense. We can yeah. get ready. And now we see a very similar hand to what we saw before. But Dennis, very in control. If look at the hand, we know what's coming. Yeah, completely. The, the body's cut the coward's end combo is going to be absolutely huge. And Dennis is just going to wait for Fable Alpaca to overextend on the board. 
the Lost in the Woods though could be very strong. Well, oh. he, you know, he went Logos, so. Mm. We, we, it would be good to counter, but we can see the hands. Yeah. Is able to draw the Fog of Fire key and protect from the board. And each of these, every time these quick stones damage a different creature, it's just making this coward den so much stronger within this. Yeah. Here we go. Archives the full moon of the web books, a full moon and key charge in the archive. Double reap, start with, which isn't a surprise. While Dindus is in control of the board, I don't. I think these two cards are going to be a chain for at least another couple of turns. Yep. He's going to wait until Fable of Pack is essentially going to put him in check using this. Lost in the Woods has lost a lot of value now thanks to the Blood Money. And Round Table, Protect the Weak. Champ Staunch Knight and Champion Tribble and Tibbles. This is a stacked hand from Dindus. So the mask comes down, I think, just to try and hope for the better. Stronger. Oh, there's the um, Untainment there's hand. It's getting better. But it's. So he's got a 5 amber straight away between. Oh, 6 amber with full got... moon. But we're going to see the second key coming here for Dindus. Yeah, that is the challenge. Went from there. Reap, reap, reap. Loot the bodies. Coward then goes to 10. Jeez. Luckily, so, it wasn't a disc turn, so the lash hasn't been used, so this key charge is going to go off for maximum value. But even so, that is. Mutual uh, Hunt's going to be good, but with the Protect the Weak and the Round Table taking Dindus to six, I think it's going to be pretty much over next turn. It is, but what we've seen so far from this hand. Dindus just draw. The RNG have been able to draw so much on that. Mutual Hunt comes down. Do fairy, I like the Lost in the Woods afterwards. Yep. Key, key charge. charge. Mid turn key charging, uh, key forging is always a weird one. Held the Lost in the Woods. Curious. I guess because the Nocturnal Maneuver would lock them down, he's hoping to maybe catch another Shirao, catch a Roman Guard. Best Starch Knights. And we can see there's no armor control in hand. Nah, that's Champion to burst comes down, protect the weak. And Fable Pack has got nothing to stop us here. Goes for, goes for the library access, digging for God Anything. knows what. First time, Rocket Boots. Ooh, stick the Rocket Boots on the Do Fairy, then pop the Witcher Hunt. Ah, uh, has them. Excellent. So we'll get to we'll be able to get to seven, but key charge. Dindus is going to ten. Yeah. Key charge in hand we, again. Yeah, can't play it because he's in a love of Oh, of course he is. Yeah, sorry, just being slow. <laughs> so this is a three to one, but what did set up a second key? Unfortunately, Fable or Packer was just not able to get the get board control. Which seems to be what was the deciding factor here. Just so, yeah, keep on following. Good luck. Yeah.